Today's the day I'm going to minimize my pants. Let's go. I have eight of these bins. That looks, that looks gross. I guess that's from where it hits the floor over the years. I've had those for a long, long time, these bins. I have eight of them under my bed, and they're all filled with different clothes. And that is what, I don't have a dresser. I don't have, I have a, a, a closet full of things hanging. I'm one of those people where, I mean, they tell you when you're uh, doing like a no spend challenge or you're just, you know, changing your life and you don't, and you're not spending money and you, you, you have to make cuts. They tell you not to buy clothes. You have enough to wear that you don't have to buy anything. That is 100% me. I have so many clothes and I have to say that I'm very lucky that I have a timeless style because I mean, I hope I'm not I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty uh well, st is stylish the word I'm pretty uh critical I'm very critical not pretty critical so I think I would be I'm very judgmental and I definitely be I'm most judgmental of myself so I think I would know if what the clothes that I have aren't timeless they are like if if the collar is just a little too small, I don't want it. If the collar is a little too big, of course I don't want it. I think that's where I'm at. We're in a great place in fashion where everything, it doesn't matter what you like, you can, as long as you have the confidence, you can make it work. I mean, that's always been the case, but more so now where, because there's such a turnover of what's in and what's not, that everything's in, and it, I think it will be until the end of time now. Anyway, I have all these pants that I don't wear. I wear two of them. I need the bins. I have I have these quilts that I do want to keep, and I have minimized my quilts. I've taken out ones that I don't want. Those are ones that I want to keep, but I just keep them in a pile, and they keep shifting around, and I said, hey, what if one of these bins, one of these eight bins that I have full of clothes that I don't wear, for the most part, um, what if I put that in one of the bins. And the first thing that I can go and do and take away would be these pants because the pants really I don't wear. I wear these two pants for at least five years. I've been wearing just these two pair of faded gray jeans. I mean, they're probably way faded now than they were. Uh, they're, I don't, I don't even, they're kind of like a skinny jean they're not really a skinny jean but I mean I'm gonna try all this stuff on maybe well if these don't fit me I'm gonna have to buy more I mean I can do two pairs of pants and that's something that's in here that I discovered once I lost my luggage and uh, I didn't have any clothes to wear and that is when I discovered that is when I really became a fashion minimalist that I realized I could get away with just really nice white t-shirts and like a cardigan you throw that on over a white you can dress up a white t-shirt dress down a white t-shirt and I bought two pairs it was of the winter season so I bought two pairs of corduroy pants at my favorite store uh Club Monaco I'd always shop there I haven't shopped there in years because I already have so much Club Monaco clothes and I haven't shopped well Sometimes I buy like everyday like athletic wear like sweatpants and sweatshirts and uh, and then I, I do have I did I did have a tank top addiction for making my YouTube channels just to put on something colorful people don't like when you don't wear a shirt on the internet especially when you're dealing with children's stuff so that is why that happened but and then i got addicted to that and i mean it wasn't an expensive addi addiction i would always get them on sale and but i have way too many and i don't need them and i don't like them and i would never wear them outside in public so they're driving me crazy and they're taking up a huge part of my closet so i might just get rid of all of them because i i hate 
I, I just, um, I hate that I can't move around in here. I hate that I have so much stuff. I'm so happy that, that that's happening. But this is, this is, this is, this is cleaned out. I did a good job. I don't know if I uploaded that video. I've recorded some videos here prior to this. Can I just get into the jeans? I'm going to, the pants. I, I just got to try these on. I don't have a place to show and record either. That's a problem. And uh, before I started this video, I was like, what? What's going on? Why? Um, I'm not, I was like looking at the pants and saying, I, I could possibly wear these things. And there's a lot of stuff like that, like during the pandemic and everything and job shifts and priorities changed for me. I really only wear sweatpants or shorts or most of the time I just wear a towel. That's what I want to wear uh, if I have to wear anything at all. Right now I'm wearing these because I don't because I was going outside and doing some yard work. So most of the time, if I'm going by the pool, I'll just uh, I'll just I'll even wear a speedo around while I'm doing my pool maintenance. It's really the only reason in my yard work I will I'll, I'll put on some see I'll put on some other shirts for yard work. Okay, I'm gonna put on a pair of underwear. If you've seen some of my other fashion videos, I just wear swim trunks. They have a lining, and that's that way I can jump into my pool or jump into a splash pad if I'm out, out on my bicycle doing errands and things. And it's hot. It hasn't been very hot the last few years. I'm going to grab a pair of my underwear. Over there. One of these, one of these bins are filled with underwear and socks and and I can't I can't get rid of underwear and socks I'll just I'll use those I'll wear them until I don't have anything left the underwear that I have that I wear I got from the dollar store it's like uh, Gildan, I think it's Canadian company. I think it's like a Canadian, uh, like I don't know, like, like a t-shirt company. Oh, th these seem to be stretched out. Okay, so let's start with the pair of jeans that I actually wear. It's so funny though because what I'm thinking is that am I gonna throw, am I gonna throw these out? Am I gonna, well, I'm gonna donate them, first of all, but, and then buy new ones, like, that's, that's the thing, that's the, the that's the, that's what we don't want to do, we don't be wasteful. Okay, okay, I've lost, um, some weight, I think, recently, so these aren't even very tight, the fades in them might look a little, a little more, like, cheesy, then they did eventually they were like it was very like unnoticeable now in this light maybe i don't have the best light maybe we should change that right now maybe i can fix that just a little bit without tearing anything down or messing anything up i don't want it i don't want it to be too bright either what's the mess i have going on in my bathroom it's not too bad I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see that. There's a broom there. I have some vacuum. To do. This is actually what I wore outside today while I was cleaning the pool. Okay, so they don't fit me very well. They're too loose in the waist, and they've always been, but they're uh, tight everywhere else. They look good. They're fine. I don't, like, everybody's wearing baggy pants now but I don't look good in baggy so this is what we're doing um, I think I, I think I like these it's hard to tell with a shirt without a shirt on but they're not they're not like skin tight all the way and that's what makes me like them I don't know if it's hard or easy to see I don't know if this is 
garbage and recycling. Okay, so I don't like what I'm seeing. I'm, they, they look very rock and roll, but oh God. God, I don't know what to do. This is the first pair of pants. It's going to get easier after this. They're fine. They're totally fine. Uh, my style might change after. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh. Don't, 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 don't look. Okay, so these ones, I know I hate the color, but Buttonfly, which is cool, I like that detail. Uh, every time I put these on, and I don't like the color blue very much, they're like, they're a perfect fit though. That's the thing, but they really glow blue. And I don't know if you can see that. Oh, maybe you can see see that now. Yeah, great fit. Like the perfect, these are the perfect, like not too loose, not too tight pair of jeans. But you know what? I hate the color. And, uh, and I kind of want to start over. I always, yeah, I, when I ever, when I put these with something, I'm saying, they look too flashy to me, and I think that they're kind of too baggy here, and oh, this isn't working. They probably would look good with some of the clothes I have. Do I have to rethink this video and try and, try, and actually try it on with some of the, the clothes in my closet? Oh, this is, this is, this might be a bust for me. These ones I love and have worn so much over the years that they are more faded. Maybe they're too light now. And but they're army. They're like a cross between army green and khaki. Oh, they're a little tighter in the waist, which I like. Maybe they've been put in the dryer by mistake a few times. I don't like lighter pants. I love these pants, so they're looking real good. What the? Oh. This happens. That happens all the time. Whenever, whenever you're trying stuff on to throw it out, you try it on, and it, uh, when you want to wear something, you're, you're trying to put on an outfit, you look horrible and everything, but when you're trying to throw something out, you put it on, and you love how everything looks. But something that you, I really have to remember here is that I haven't worn any of these clothes in years. Okay. These two pants. I bought these to photograph a wedding, to go to a wedding, because I didn't have anything that was like, oh, it was a summer wedding, so I needed like pants that would be, that I could work outside in the heat. Like how do I wear pants when I can't even wear a shirt? The thing is, I wore them once, and then as soon as I washed them, they get these wrinkles in them and like they are they're beautiful they're also from Colmonico and they're probably the newest nice pair of something that I bought And they look really good on, except for the wrinkles. But my lifestyle, I'm never going to iron anything. And also, I couldn't wear these in the time of year that I wear pants. Like, I am 
what am I going to do? Save them for another wedding? And I can't wear them to a wedding because they're wrinkly, but I don't, I'm never going to wear pants in the summertime. I'm not going to go to anything or go anywhere where I am made to wear pants. I, I would just say, no, uh, I've, I've come to a point in my life where ooh, I don't do anything I don't want to do. I've never done anything that I didn't want to do. I'm really, uh, I'm in such a weird mood, kind of, I'm, I'm angry that, uh, I'm angry that I'm old and nothing's worked out. So I'm angry at all of the stuff that I have. I'm never going to wear these. These look fantastic. They're nice. I could totally see myself wearing these, but they are too thin to wear in the fall. They would they look funny. If you wear a summer pair of pants in the fall, it looks funny. It's not gonna go with any of the other clothes that I wear. And I'm never gonna wear a pair of pants in the summertime. And I guess if I ever have to go to a wedding again, I have to buy another pair of pants. So if these ones where I love the color, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like a light pair of pants, because I don't like light pants. It it does something to my body. I think it's because I have, uh, because I'm more narrow on top. I'm not, I don't have like really wide shoulders. So sometimes when I wear a dark top and it just, it doesn't, it may, I don't know what it does. It makes my top part look even smaller and it makes my bottom part look bigger. I know it's it's hard to believe in this lighting and everything, but I, I don't know. Again, these look so good. They, they look like army. Oh, oh, man, they do look so cool. They're, like, kind of tight, but they're not too tight, and they're tight in all the right places. And I, I love these. I could see, I could really see styling these in this, like, uniform kind of way. But... I am never going to wear a pair of pants in the summertime. This is killing me. But, yep. Yeah, it's decided. It is decided. Uh, just because I brought, just because I've got both of these, um, I don't like the color of those. I don't have to, I don't have to get rid of one and save the other. I can save just one, and I can I can save these ones. I think they have they might have holes. They might be wearing out because they wore them so much. Yeah. So the back to these these army khaki corduroy pants. Those those I can save without saving the blue ones. Now this was my favorite uh, pair of jeans for a long long time. Uh, they're made by a company that I actually used to do modeling for, and I uh, and I've had these for many, many years. I'd say maybe maybe ten, ten plus years, and uh, they are kind of perfect, and they're a weird texture, and they're a weird color, and. They might be a little too loose through here. They're weird. They're kind of brown, gray, and they got this weird texture in them. But I think when I wear them that they don't. And then I don't know what, what's going to happen. Is the rest of the stuff going to be loose? That's the thing about saving. Oh, man, it's already been so long since I... The video's so long. But we're doing this. Ah. I'm sorry I'm in, in such an angry mood right now. <laughs> angry mood. But it's good because that I'm in this mood because it's making me more... Throw them away. Yeah, so like, like styles and fits and change throughout the years and different things become likable. But I mean, because I've had these 
for, because I've had all of these for so long, like, I can't believe I threw out all of my baggy military camo pants, which I love the look of those, and I always liked the look, but there was this tiny period. That is something that I thought about, though. Army, Army has never gone out of fashion. N never in, my, in all of the time that I've been alive, like from the 70s up, and up until now, uh, military clothing has always been fashionable. So I, I don't think of it as a, 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 a neutral or a classic piece. Like it, it seems like something that comes in and out because there's big giant spurts of it where in the 80s it was super cool to have. And then in the 90s it was, so there was this, or the early, yeah, the early, not, the early, yeah, the yeah, mid 90s, there was this super surge in army surplus. But there's been, there's been surges of army surplus constantly through every decade. Uh, where, I mean, I don't know why I'm talking, but these do kind of also remind me of, anyway, I guess I have to keep these, like, they're loose and they're baggy, but they're not, they're definitely not as loose and baggy as what uh, most of the young kids are wearing these days. Uh, I'm gonna have to try, I'm gonna have to tr keep these and try to wear them with with stuff that I have. Okay. So I have a lot of blue shirts and stuff that would look good with blue jeans. These ones, these are from Walmart. I think I got them on, I think they were like $15 and I was like, these are the black ones that I, I the black, the gray ones, that, these ones right here, these are from Walmart. The ones that I've been wearing for 10 years. They're George. And I had never bought anything from Walmart to wear until I bought those jeans. And I think this is exactly the same style. I think I bought them in different washes because they were on sale or something. And they fit well. So, it's so freaking strange. And I've had these for years, and I haven't worn them, but I had other ones. But, I mean, I did get rid of some of the other ones. The wash... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, they they fit. Everything, everything that I have is going to fit well, because I throw out everything that doesn't fit well. So... Uh, yeah, I knew that this was going to be harder. They look good. Maybe have to try to wear them with an outfit in the fall. That's what's going to happen, or in the winter, whenever I get around to wearing pants. And then, then I will. And then I'll decide if I throw them out or not. Right? Okay. So then, here's these ones. I hate the color. I hate the fit through here. Yeah, okay, finally, something that I, I despise these. So, okay. I have nothing good to say about these. I think there you can buy denim that's like really shiny and it looks like it's like old gas station denim and it's really stiff, but you, wa you wash it once and then it just turns into that, whatever that is. And I think these were the same too. It was just like this nice, shiny, old-fashioned looking denim. And of course, oh, look at this. Wait, what brand was this? Okay, this is a brand. This is the brand that I worked for. They, uh, their fits weren't as good. Canadian company. Yeah, I didn't like, the, I didn't like their fits. This, because it's George, which is British, not Canadian, so the fits are going to be better on this one. I think I kept these because they were given to me. And we, we make that mistake. This one, I think it's the same cut as my favorite 
gray ones and those blue ones that I just tried on. They're Walmart jeans, but you know what? This this is the shape that I like, and I don't know. Maybe I'll watch back this video and I won't like it, but this is a nice dark denim pair of jeans that looks pretty good. I don't know. Not too tight, not too loose. I don't know if you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing. I'm sorry I don't have like something wonderful there for you to see either. It's just the way it is. My life would probably be different if that was. Now what's this? This is just another pair of the Walmart with the Walmart jeans. These ones seem to be a bit tighter. They seem to be maybe it's because I've washed them and dried them. Maybe it's because they're a slightly different style. These ones seem to fit exactly like the gray ones. Okay, and that's another thing. Do I need, should I just choose like one of the denims? Do you remember this one where it had more weird fades in it? These ones, I like that. They don't have, well look, in, the, in some lighting, you can see some really distressed patches, but for the most part, they're uniformly distressed and they don't look like cheesy distressed too bad, especially when they're so slim and they're distressed. I don't wanna go for that cowboy, rock and roll cowboy kind of look, diesel kind of look. I don't even though that's fine because it doesn't have all of the extra tacky zippers and stuff on it they're more plain than that that's why it's, these are these are too nice to get rid of and I think these are the blue jeans that I actually did wear so what do I do here I can't I can't believe that the Walmart jeans are are winning now the Walmart, their Walmart jeans are probably, wait, are they, are they 10 years old? Are they five years old? I don't know. If I'm going to wear like my blazers and the shirts that I have and stuff, these jeans I should probably keep because I do have a lot of blue based clothes and these I usually just put with a gray heather gray sweatshirt and that stops me so from wearing because they're gray it stops me from wearing any of the other color stuff that i have because it doesn't they don't really look good with i like blue and black together but i like a dark blue and a black together let's uh let's keep going but now do i have way too many blue blue, blue pairs of jeans i guess the thing is what is this? Was it, I was shaking two around. Oh yeah, one is one is a little bit different. The thing is, I have to try wearing them too. So I guess I'm gonna. I'm not putting them back in a bin. I'll put them in a pile in my closet, and as the, I'll wear them once, and I'll see what happens at the end of the day. How much did they stretch out? How much didn't they stretch out? Let's keep going. I guess in the more recent years, I have been buying pants from Walmart. I'm, I'm looking for toys. I'm walking by. These I bought as a summer pair of pants because when I went to, it was actually not summer, it was November when I went to LA and I bought them for that because I wanted something that was casual yet could look a little dressy for the plane. Actually, I didn't even wear these on the plane. I wore these gray jeans. I wore these jeans on the plane and a blazer that I have that matches this so well. But I did have these with me, but it was really hot in, in, in LA in November. So 
I uh, probably didn't wear these that much. They're like, they're more like what's in, in style now. They're loose, they're comfortable, they're like sweatpants, uh, pants, and... And the material is thick enough that it, they wouldn't look ridiculous in the winter time, but they m actually might. I might feel like they're too summery. And again, I'm not going to wear I'm not going to wear pants in the spring or in the fall, and they would look ridiculous in the winter time. So, and they're from Walmart. So. As much as I really like them, these are a definite, a definite see you later. Okay, so this is, this is, this is, I have a matching blazer for these. I'm going to have to do another video on that. And, but I bought extra pants for the suit and these ones are kind of worn out and these are really baggy so that, that's interesting well they're not really baggy but because they've been washed and worn and I, I probably never dried these but they look really they look really worn out and uh, the blazer looks brand new they're blue they're pinstripe, to, but they're still casual. I think I'll I'll just get rid of these. They they look so sloppy. I think the new ones would look. I don't know what to do. You shouldn't dry clean cotton, but maybe I should just never ever wash the ones. Some people do that. Some people have clothes and they never wash them. But where am I gonna wear a blue pinstripe suit? Look at the butt, it looks all saggy because it's cotton. Those I'm just definitely getting rid of. Another pair of army chinos. Just this, I love these. Do I have a matching blazer to this? I think I have a, I have a, a matching, uh, a matching raincoat. I thought I thought these were way more green. These fit so well. Holy. I've had these for years. They're all worn out. They're more like a grown-up version of, of the cargo pants, military cargo pants that I want to wear. So I guess hello. Yeah. yeah, they're a little darker. Um, I love this. I love wearing these two things together. I've shown this before. I know because people have commented on this. I love to wear matching clothes, like the same tones and shades together. But this is just an example of something that I've had for years. that I never wear, but this is an outfit that I worn before when going to, when I went to events, but I mean, this looks like, like it's really out of style, but it's because the collar looks so big, but it doesn't really look like that when dressed up. It looks like kind of pilgrimy. Anyway, I love it, and I love these things together, and, okay, so these are, these are a keeper. The thing is, I have to actually wear this stuff, and I might just end up, so, yeah, it's better to do this at the end of the season, maybe? Maybe I should be doing this with my summer clothes? 
It's so hard because I haven't done anything in years. Okay, and then there's these two pairs of pants. Where are they from? These are these are also Walmart. This is crazy. So I only have clothes from three different stores. And uh, these ones are super ill-fitting, but you know what? They, they, they look good, but they, they feel uncomfortable. They feel like they're ill-fitting. And because they're uncomfortable to wear, like they're kind of tight at the knee, and they're kind of loose here, but they're such a good style. They're a jean. They um, are made of a very thick, nice material. So that's my little hint to buying quality clothes at fast fashion stores, is to pay attention to the fabrication. If it's... um. And thicker looks thicker always looks more expensive. Um, thinner looks cheaper, especially when you're shopping at a cheaper fast fashion store or a a, sto a store like Walmart. If you buy thick material, so it's a good place to buy fall clothes, fall and winter clothes, because a thick material always looks rich. So if it's thick and it fits well then you got a like a classic piece that can last forever and that's what happened here but i can't bend my knees <sighs> but i would because i love the two colors like they're just uh, they're a dark black pair of jeans which i don't have these are the only dark black pair of jeans that i have and uh then they're this gray like i love wearing black and gray there are weird I think this is a weird color that kind of looks odd though with other things that I have. I don't know if they if they don't feel good, but if I don't sit down, if I'm if I'm just walking, then they're fine. If I'm not riding a bicycle or walking. This probably isn't a very good video to do because I'm not doing full outfits. Just deciding on the pair of pants without, you know, looking so fantastic here. I got some videos would, would do very well if you look fantastic here. But I'm not, I don't look anything special there. Kinda, kinda hippie. Kind of baggy through here. I love the I love the colors. I love how they feel. I love how the material feels. They hurt here. Baggy. Yeah. You know what? It's too baggy. If I, I'll just have to. I'll have to buy a better pair of black pants if I need a pair of black pants. I'm trying to get away from wearing the black though because I have I have the gray two pa pairs of gray jeans that I don't have anything really black black tops to wear. I have a lot of uh, tops that look great with blue so they're like they're complementary to blue denim. So okay I decided in the end that I don't need these for an emergency. I have enough emergency pants, right, okay? And I'm not gonna wear, I said this, I said this with the summer clothes. I said, I'm not gonna wear just black and gray, and I'm gonna try to venture out and wear some of these bright clothes. I hate wearing the baby blue shorts. Every time I put them on, I'm like, I pink, pink is a staple. I have, I've added gray, black, army green, and pink. I love wearing those colors. Um, in the, and that is really is a summer thing though. I probably won't like wearing pink in the winter time. So, wow, the, the glare on my hair. I don't wanna have a ponytail. 
the, the, I guess my hair is getting super, super gray, exponentially gray. And uh, when the sun goes away, my face is going to be gray. And my face is all the, because we've had such poor, we've had such little sun here. It's been a pretty gloomy. I look gray everywhere, which I mean, it's fine. I mean, I can, I can embrace being 50. It's fine. I'm going to, I'm going to wear my blazers and dress my age, but it just takes me off when I see like, especially photographs. I look that my, my mirror lighting is magical in there. I look so much better. Uh, I have overhead light right now though. So I uh, usually the light is on my face. I guess that darkens my hair. And uh, now I have overhead lighting. So nobody looks good with overhead lighting, I guess. And I'm, I'm think I think I feel okay about how my body is looking. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, when I watch this back, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know. You'll know how good I feel about what my body's looking, depending on how much edit is in here. Or maybe I'll force myself not to watch it and just put it up and not think about what everything looks like. Okay. These I know I'm getting rid of. These two, in the end, I decided, yep, just biting the bullet. These, uh, these are really nice. Like, I minimized a lot of pants. Like, this is... This is the best of the best. I do this all the time. Uh, people think, I mean, I am, people think I'm a hoarder. I am a hoarder, but I constantly do this and no clothes have come in. Oh, well, these things have come in since I moved into this house. Yes, which I don't know when that was, five, six years ago. I can't remember when I bought these black jeans, these gray jeans. I do still love wearing these. If I, I, I think I look. I think I, f I feel good when I put them on, and I put on a fresh, clean hoodie. But by the end of the day, I think I look sloppy. And we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to experiment with that. We're gonna have to do a whole day. Did I say that I used my? I recorded like all kinds of footage outside. I wanted to see how my hair looked like. I did some chores outside. I recorded. I did some talking. I did some stuff. I used the good camera. I didn't just use my computer to record the vlog. But I didn't, I didn't edit that stuff. This video is going to go up before that. I'm going to have to edit that creatively and put in some talk about why. I noticed that when I do do my videos that I get feedback from you guys, like, uh, or answers to the questions that I ask and stuff, but it's way after the fact. I've already moved on. None of the stuff's important to me anymore. Uh, and that, my life does, my life, my, my interests in life does move that fast, but at the same time, I, I, I'm, I don't know how that is, how, how the things that I talk about, I've totally, pro but then I regress and, and I go, I've gone nowhere. I've gone nowhere since I'm still 15 years old. And I really come to that because I've not, I've not, I don't know. I don't know what it's like. There's, there's all these videos that I have to do on that blue. I, I don't like that color. Summer pants. These don't, these won't look good. These will look ridiculous worn in the winter time. I will never wear summer pants. I don't want to go anywhere that wear summer pants. In an emergency, I'll have to buy a new pair of pants. But I don't, I'm just not going to go. Like, yeah. Like if it's a, if it's a summer wedding, a destination wedding, I don't think, I think if you go on it, I think if you go to a destination wedding and it's on a beach, I think you're allowed to wear shorts to the wedding. And also I would make shorts look good. Maybe I'd wear a blazer that I could put on and take off with shorts. People do that. It's, it's a thing. It used to not be a thing. It used to be not a thing at all. And they used to say Europeans never wear shorts. Uh, that has definitely changed in the last 10 years. Uh, minimum the last 10 years because uh, shorts and fashion are huge. Uh, not that, not that it matters. Like, okay, what's, what's this? 
Oh, these are these are the Canadian designer um, pants that I don't I don't like the material. I don't like how they fit. So, so what we're that stuff that I'm definitely getting rid of. These I'm definitely keeping. The two pairs of black jeans. Uh, these turned out to be my favorite pants. Um, I might have to just wear this uniform. Um, pun intended, constantly. Uh, I do worry about wearing the same thing all the time and people seeing me because I, I don't like to be noticed. And then when people are, people notice me for the wrong reasons. But maybe if I, yeah, if you're wearing, if you're dressed up and you're wearing the same thing every time, that jacket is just so noticeable. That's why, that's why I like wearing black. Uh, these are these are like the emergency pair of jean pants to wear. I I think I have a problem matching these with the clothes that I have though. They're just a weird tone, and the tone looks off with everything that I own, which is weird because they're gray and they're brown. There's just something that goes wrong. So it really would have to be a neutral. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't make sense. But when I try to match this with something. It's gray. It should go with everything, but I don't know. I have a really hard time um, matching that. Uh, look, everything's the same. I guess. Well, I'm, I'm. I got these kind of khaki corduroys. I love these corduroy pants, so I love those. Okay, and I do have more pants. I didn't tell you that because I've got all kinds of suits. So I've got suits and blazers, and I do have some summer pants. Oh yeah because I've got a lot of summer blazers that have pants. I don't know if a lot. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's some, there's some good suits in there. Okay, these jeans that I have not worn before. I might have to just wear these once, see if I can wear them with something. And then these ones, which were... Like I, this is a lot. This is way too many clothes. This is way too many pairs of jeans. Uh, these ones I have to wear, and these ones I think I was wearing again when my two pairs of black ones were dirty, or I was trying to wear some of the other things in my closet and wear some of the blue, blue shirts or shirts that look good with blue. I was pulling these jeans out, and then these ones, I. Uh, I don't wear, but dark denim, there's there's a reason for dark denim, so I will try to wear these. So I'm gonna to try to wear, and then I might throw, them, these might go away in the end. So I'm gonna to try to wear these three pairs of blue jeans with all of the shirts that I have, and then I will have no problem wearing these. Like hopefully I don't just pull on the, that heather hoodie. See, I feel like I blend in. I feel like I'm hiding more when I just wear this and a black or gray hoodie. That's what I wear these with. So I just look like one of those. Maybe, see, maybe that's why people will get me. That's why they think that I'm shoplifting. That's why they think that, that's why they worry about me. Because I look like a, a squeegee kid. And then, a quarter of a pair, very wintry, however, very light, very strange for me to like, but I guess it's because it's the green. It's a subtle green. They just look army-ish, and then these look really army-ish, and they're like a more mature, like I'm 50 years old. I shouldn't be wearing cargo camouflage pants anyway, so this is a good alternative to that, and again, I don't, I don't have, how can I wear just this, like, this is the uniform that I want to wear. However, that being said, I have in my closet other, like, dark navy suits that are like this cotton, too. We're going to do that. That's going to be another video. Uh, I did pretty good. So, I got rid of all of these. These are definite get rid of. I'm going to put those in a pile, wait for winter to wear them. I'm going to be wearing shorts 
all fall until it's too cold to wear shorts. But yeah, I get, I get rid of some stuff. I'm probably just going to put these downstairs and think about. But the last time I did that, I did a video here. I took everything downstairs, put it in the conservatory. And uh, and I, I did. I donated it all. I took it all to the bin. But I, I should sit on this and it would be good. I mean, you guys will probably have some feedback and you might have some good arguments. You just say, save the summer pants because one day you might have a summer event. Uh, that's, that's one of the minimalist rules that they say to do is to not hold on to something just for a certain occasion. Now, a lot of the stuff that was another that was an occupational hazard and i've mentioned this before on the channel when i was modeling in you have to go to auditions and stuff they want you to dress for the role of the part that you're doing so i always had to have these like sp specific clothes and stuff to do that and uh, now i don't have to worry about that i don't have to ever do anything that i don't want to do and i don't want to ever do anything that if anything i got out of the pandemic is that it took me that much further i've i really uh, spoiled myself over the years and only doing the things that i really really love doing uh, and really like procrastinate and uh, avoid anything that I don't enjoy, but it it this the 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 uh, the isolation the uh, it uh, it it made me like it made me it made me do it so much more and I'm happier and because of it however it's it's uh, like comment share and subscribe we did good we, we did good oh now i get to put the quilts into that bin that's what i'm really excited about should i make another video about doing that yeah maybe there's going to be another video a couple days later and uh, you can watch that one too because this video is way too long of me just trying on clothes which I don't, even, I don't even know. I don't even know if the, I don't, I, I, I don't even know if I can make videos anymore. Nobody wants to watch though. Nobody, no. 